Welcome back, guys, to Octopath Traveler 2. Well, last episode, our ninth session began with some path actions through Clockbank, having ended up here after finishing Partitio's story, needing to return to Rock Island to sweep it as well. But before we did, we took on the battle-worn shark in a quick encounter. With a new dungeon found beyond the shark's location, we completed our Rock Island path action sweep, finding Thurston with a quest to help the inventor Floyd get some rest as we completed their next chapter, and we now continue on. All right then, let's pick up these items, considering there's nothing maybe else to do in town at this point. There's some scrap iron here. Hey, it's behind the bar. And then decide on our party to start the next leg of our journey. But to be honest, I think we've picked up an item to go somewhere else. So first in is gone. Oh no, he's here at night next to what is that? A dog. <laughs> he's got a nice task of taking Garnet for a walk than giving her a daily biscuits. <laughs> first in and Garnet. Gar Seems that he's just, he's just like those. They're, they're both the same type of person. First in and uh. Floyd, when you think about it. They're just highly job oriented people. It's just Thurston goes, uh, Floyd's obsessive. Uh, so is Thurston, but Thurston goes a bit weird with his obsession, is how to put it, isn't it? Right, let me go somewhere else for now. Let me go to Wellgrove, as a matter of fact. Because I have been looking through some places to see stuff we need to steal. To be honest, I know where we need to steal because I know it's somewhere we didn't even look into after we did the stupid quest. A man who voluntarily... What? Information gleaned garbage collector? A man who voluntarily patrols the town. He works with several others to keep the town safe. The man in charge of night patrols is particularly enthusiastic not only about safeguarding the town, but also about picking up trash. I'll take that. Garbage collector information. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Is that a quest that I'm unaware of? No. It could be something quest related, yeah. Should be. Anything with a star, like key item -y kind of thing, is generally too. Right, let's rub up the market. We never even checked it out to see what they sell here. Head guard at Oleron's department store. A former merchant himself, he was forced to close down his store after a huge transaction fell through disastrously. Secretly, he hopes to get back into business and is learning what he can at the department store while he guards it. New weapons to sell. Helpful. Where's the weapon shop? Is there a weapon shop in here, actually? Oh, there is. It's a separate place. A local butcher whose love of free enterprise was restored by the success of the department store, he has begun developing new kinds of jerky and sausages using the tools and spices he was able to buy there. I'll take that. Of course, everything here should be lower level than me at this point. So the weapons we can buy, we can buy up to a giant's blade, which is 323 and minus 65 accuracy. That's not too bad. Not too bad indeed. I wonder if that was there before. I'm going to buy one of them <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> I think it's what I need. Monster bone spear as well, minus 65 accuracy. Pirate sack, sniper's bow, fortune one, Igdrasil staff. Now let's, uh, might this actually be the, oh, we should have been buying that with Partitio. Whoops. Just wondering, isn't that possibly? Oh, you've got no class at the moment. Yeah, it's a higher... It's It would be my second higher elemental attack staff if I were to buy that. So I should very much buy that. Now, Claw, gifting you sub again. And games are lit subbing for the 62nd of months. Thank you very much. All right, let's get through this place. Some rotten meat. I'll steal these. A boy who came to the department store with his mother. He used to think commerce was boring, but since his first visit, he has dreamed of selling something there too. His father, a merchant, works harder than ever to live up to the new respect the boy shows him. The wife of a merchant at the department store. She brings him lunch every day, but always ends up buying something while she is there. The ingredients for his lunch are expensive enough, but she cannot resist the lure of the department store. <laughs> <laughs> Anything cool to buy? Nothing that I don't already have a lot of. 
Chef at the Royal Court of Timberane. Spices are his passion and he came running to the department store the moment he heard about its rare spice selection. His research into the golden flavor ratio for the ultimate curry continues. That was very helpful. The ultimate curry. What do you sell? Armor? Not of great varieties then. A woman bitter over the department store success because her husband failed in business and disappeared six months ago. Having lost everything, seeing other people flourish fills her with resentment. I'll take that. I wonder what that handkerchief's for. Oof. We have 80 billion leaves to cash, isn't a problem. I mean, we didn't end up seemingly paying the 80 billion leaves, to be fair, but... We don't have the 80 billion leaves, sadly. Maybe we should see Elrond about that. <laughs> A newly hired apprentice carpenter whose master sent her here with some money to buy herself a new set of tools. Learning to choose good tools is the first step for any craftsman. That was very helpful. An old man brought to the department store by his granddaughter. He was so excited by the department store that he couldn't sleep, yet he cannot hold a candle to his granddaughter's energy. Now he's just staying put so he won't get lost. Give me the goods. I'll take that. I'll take that indeed. A merchant who resolved to leave Wellgrove forever and migrate to the Eastern con Content. Oh, yeah, sure. Until the success of the department store changed his mind. Now he plans to stay here and share in his hometown good times. <laughs> hometown good times. <laughs> Let's take everything everyone owns. A young man brought here by help wanted posters. He has spoken to many of the merchants doing business in the department store and is astonished by the excellent wages and conditions they all offer. In fact, he's having trouble deciding where to work. Thank you. What do you sell? Oh, you're the record shop. Uh, I guess I can't steal from you. I guess I'll buy all the records so I've got them. My money! Not being able to thieve something for once. Boo. Running what I don't have a lot of. So you don't sell diffusing stuff then. It's only at the black market so far. Only there. Will this do? Even more money is going. The call and collect his secretary understands that superficially copying the successes of others is a recipe for failure. He sees it as part of his job to prevent his impulsive boss from making any such mistakes. In fact, that more or less is his job. He was hired by his boss's wife for just that purpose. Take good care of this. Of course, is just getting it for freebies while we get the information. 10,000. A, a wealthy man from New Delstow who heard about... Why do we have to bribe a wealthy man, 10k? Who heard about the success of Alwan's department store and plans to turn a tidy profit by starting a copycat store back home. And why not? All his wealth comes from repurposing the ideas of others as it suits him. Well, someone comes up with a good idea, you gotta take that too, right? An expensive looking toy. Perhaps it can be used for something. If you hadn't got it out, I'd already looked through this place for what stuff I could steal. Will this do? Well, that's great. A merchant from the Brightlands who thinks of the Western continent as a joke. He came to the so-called department store expecting to laugh at its pretensions, but its vast scale and undeniable success shook him to his core. Interesting. But I also came here and, well... Right next to here is another quest that I found. Remember I the horses that have been stolen? Or taken? Or gone? I think I found the thief. I just don't know if I can beat him. A librarian from Montwise in charge of repairing old books. She came to the department store in search of obscure materials for her repairs, but seeing so many goods she'd only ever read about before was more exciting than she expected. Interesting. Not too many people here at night, though. As you'd expect. I don't know why it's so steamy in here at night, though. A merchant from Hiruma who is the most impressed by the generous agreements Aaron's department store offers its merchants. Nothing like the traders who sneer at des desert peoples and offer a pittance for their wares. He's decided to start bringing rare goods from Hiruma here for wholesale. That's stuff I can't even get here. Not powerful stuff, but not bad. <laughs> Potential to mug him for it. Quartz robe too. Will this do? A trader from the Wildlands who has been duped by strategically ambiguous contracts made many times before. 
This makes him appreciate the clear and mutually beneficial agreement, said Alrons, all the more. He's decided to trust in that sincerity. Interesting. It's nice that that's got me new armor for sale. So you're still the still same guy here. Platinum helm there. Will this do? A merchant who runs an ever-expanding chain of stores. He has come to the department store to decide if it is the right place for his next location. I'll Getting a lot care. of nuts from doing the, these path action sweeps. Alan's Lance Night Helm, which just took everything. I have a request. A battle-hardened knight in the Sacred Guard, so experienced that she is entrusted with training new recruits. She is visiting the department store on her time off between assignments, having heard that a first-class weapon sharpener has set up shop there. Can't knock him out. Right, so the armor that we got was the Platinum Mail. Dragon Scarf and Beastie Scarf available. Don't know if they were there before. Right, that is this place. So let me step outside for but one second. Switch our party up yet again. And let's just pop just out the town for a bit. We're gonna ha we're gonna make an attempt. I don't know how well it's gonna work out for me. <laughs> oh my god, Temenos and Frone are only level 49. I'll let the others get way ahead, haven't I? Just a little bit. <laughs> They'll catch up in no time with their extra skills for doing this kind of thing. So yeah, I couldn't find the horses Yeehaw! in the desert. But go a little further afield. Catapult, go, go, go! Maybe next time. Walk the path, as it were, and you shall find. Not here before, I'm pretty sure, because I never saw this guy the first time we came through the place. Day and night. I have a request. A suspicious man with several horses in tow, despite his claim to be holding onto them for a friend. He uses crops and cudgels on them with shocking cruelty. In truth, he is a horse thief who makes a living selling his ill-gotten herd. Make the uh, champion seek from the guy. <laughs> Here you I'll go. Care of this. But yeah, you're talking. What's your problem, huh? You looking for a fight? I stole, uh, bought these here things fair and square. Touch them and I'll cut your hands off. So I think this is our guy. The only problem is... I don't know if we can knock him unconscious, like, normally. Actually, I don't know. I didn't try. This is the party I came here with. But he also has a thousand blades and ability. The last time we met with that, I got trounced, remember? <laughs> but maybe. If I must. Maybe, just maybe. On your guard. Maybe Hikai can do it. Now it begins. Do you believe? Choose your next move wisely. We're stronger than before, right? I return your wrath twofold. I return your and wrath that's a Oh, I buffed him. <laughs> Here I come. That's not what I wanted to see. <laughs> Maybe I should have switched swords. Choose your next move wisely. Predictable. I return your wrath to. Don't buff him. Now it begins. And I think it would be best, considering the fact that the guy's probably gonna get broken on this turn. Uh, if I. Uh, it's a bite, isn't it, for physical attack? Oh, you've lowered my defenses. Oh, you're going in on this turn. I return your wrath twofold. Prepare yourself. Not fond of what you just did there. Okay, I don't think there's any way for me to buff myself up more. My strength is up. And I basically will... It's better for me to just wait for the next turn, when you think about it, and just use my, uh... My special... 
I mean, I could just do a Kundra ability. That'd snow. be fine, wouldn't it? My turn. Right then. I'll end. We only want that much, don't we? I won't be afraid. My light's radiance. This'll sort him out. Here comes. Oh, the icy pursuit gun! For the pride of Koo. Job done! You still have much to learn. Alright, I'm gonna take a thousand blades. At least your dagger attack on random foes three to five times seems pretty good. Compared to the stuff we've had, we've got. I look forward to using this. Now what's going on here? Nice, that startled me. Bunch of horses just galloped by. Last I saw, they were heading towards Hinuma. They seem too well groomed to be wild. Maybe there's someone's herd. I'd watch out if I were you. Wouldn't want to get trampled by a wild stallion. Wouldn't want to indeed. Let that be the completion of this quest. Oh, my long-faced baby, she returned to me. Oh, I missed you. Here's a kiss. Ah, oh, shucks. You walked in on an embarrassing scene. I was just so happy to see my missing babies. I couldn't help myself. Strange, they seem to like you. <laughs> Seems they really like you. Yeah, take this. A little thanks for coming to see me and these good boys and girls. So for rescuing that person's horses, we got 20k and a light nut. Well, my horses are charming in the bit today. If you're looking to rent, now's the time. I don't think we necessarily need to. And from there, we will now go over before we start our journey to our next land. To New Delsta. Because, obviously, we've been picking up a nice couple of extra things. I wanted to get more inventor skills, which is why I found uh, the market there with an item in it. But I also got the one extra from doing the uh, tail, and that should be a thing too, from doing Rock Island. And there was the giant's blade there, which I'm pretty sure is needed for another thing too. So, it's looking pretty good. Out of pump. Go, go, go! For possible... Possible new inventions. Because I'd say our inventor class has been a little bit light on abilities, wouldn't you say? I haven't really been looking into upgrading it, which is why I took some time to try and figure out what I'm doing between the sessions. Because, I mean, the abilities we've got aren't bad. The AOE damage we do is really good. I'm not going to complain about that at all. Catapult! Go, go, go! But I can always do more, right? All in a day's work. Alright then. For this, we need a tin horn and powering lychee tin toy, which we recently got. Mythical horn, I do not have those. We're still missing for that. But we did get the ancient cog for our card's coil. Oh, could that be? Why, yes it is. The very materials I need for my next invention. You're truly a wonderful assistant. Now then, prepare yourself. You're about to witness the birth of an invention that shall change the world. <laughs> I've done it. My seventh invention, our card's coil, is finally complete. This device can reproduce the light, Team. Nightling of the heavens down to earth? Okay. With it, we can bear witness to dazzling and divine phenomena simply by releasing the electrifying energy stored within. That's another invention flawlessly finished. I dare say my genius is almost frightening. And now that you've seen the master at work, you know how to craft it yourself. May it aid you on your journey. I've got a new support skill from it too. Thanks to all the materials you brought me, my inventing is continuing apace. I cannot blame you for being utterly charmed by my genius. I am as well. <laughs> Arcar's coil. 
Oh, it wasn't that. It was a great blade, not a giant blade. I've just bought a I've just bought a giant play for no reason. It started with G. But yeah, we've got Hastening Hammer here. If we find a great blade, we might be able to get something. Uh, we could go around looking for shops to sell it or steal it. or But that might be too long. I bought the wrong thing entirely. Great. Good job. Good job, mate. Great job. Upgraded accessories. Raises the attributes of the equipping character's accessories. That's not bad. Alright, so our car's coil. Restore 40% of a single ally's HP and SP and grant them 1 BP. And incapacitated allies will also be revived. Not bad. Costs nothing. Unleash a highly powerful physical attack on a single phone. Reduce the crafting time and invention by one turn. Hastening hammer doesn't sound that bad. Build a latent power gauge of all allies as well with a tin horn. There's some good stuff waiting. I just need to go get it. It's too bad he can't tell me where to find the things that I need to find. Do you know what I mean? Okay. To Crackridge. I think I've done most of my stealing here. We could try to... Beat up this guy over here. I'm sure Oswald has enough HP to... Challenge this guy properly now. Level 80 to actually take it this way. Can't take the Crescent Moon Necklace even. Ooh, travel banner with this group. Ah, oh, this meat is so juicy. <laughs> A tasty meal really picks up the soul, doesn't it? Sure does. We beastlings have a saying, you know. Good meat is a special treat. It means that eating heavenly food is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Have you two ever eaten anything like that? Heavenly food, huh? I have. Happened when I was just a chickadee. See, the saloon back home serves up some incredible dishes, so my friends and I went all the time. But after that, our town got hit by some real hard times, so we couldn't go as often. Things were so bad, we had to split breadcrumbs among ourselves. I mean, there was no meat. That's so sad. And one day, as we were passing by, we caught the most delectable scent. And our stomachs started rumbling something fierce. It sounded like a thunderstorm. A storm of starving stomachs. That's right. Guess the owner must have heard because he came right out and gave us heaps of skewered meat. We were blubbering like waterfalls as we devoured all that heavenly grub. The owner just grinned at us. Said nothing made him happier than seeing his customers smile when eating his food. He sounds like a nice man. After that, I went back to help clean. Guess what I found? The poor place had gone under. W what? I guess I should have seen it coming. The recession hit all of us hard, including that saloon. I think that old man just wanted to see his customer smile one last time. That's a wonderful story, Particio. And that man was a true shining star. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Thanks, Agnia. So I guess that tasty meat really was once in a lifetime. Sure was. You pieces got it right. Good meat really is a special treat. I just realized, before we switch character... <laughs> yes, we are zooming around a lot, but... There's always things to do after a big storyline, after all. I said I'd buy that staff. Because it's the highest elemental attack next to the, the psychic, physic, or whatever. Staff, so we probably should buy it. Ignatial staff. 20% off as well. It's not a bad call. So time to have another crack ridge at this guy. Because Temenos is a caster. I wonder if the other thing I have is for the cleric's license. Now that I think about it, I don't know. I do need extra spots. So uh, let's get the knight team in. Or more to the point, Eastern Continent team. Now, a chat would be part of that. But considering... I mean, a chat's my big damage dealer, though. We could go with Agnia for a while, just to uh, level her up a little bit more. I don't think that's a terrible idea. Uh, as for abilities, we could make Agnia an inventor for the time being on that purpose. It's not a terrible idea. Oh no, Staff of Carnage we've got. Oh. That's more powerful than Oswald's Staff.
Wait, wait a second. Does Oswald even need a more powerful staff, actually, when I think about it? Yeah, to be honest, he's nearly capping out at 9-7 with the Yggdrasil staff. So, yeah, we'll give that you. But we really should switch that off you because, let's face it, that should be on you. Staff of Carnage. More than anyone else. Really need to figure out what to actually position a lot of our people as. Yeah, I need these. Jobs. Inventor Agnia is reborn yet again. Where's my blessing in disguise? Gone past it already, haven't I? I think it's actually a really high up one, isn't it? There's a Rosary of Redemption. There's blessing in disguise. Need to get the experience augmenter off someone as well by the look of things. Get the Reaper Sickle and the Lost Tribe's Blade. They're pretty amazing for you. Mysterious Dagger for your elemental attack. Looking pretty good. And we do need better swords for you. Hypno Sword's not terrible by any means. Fire Dragon's Glaive is good. Diamond Dagger's good. Not as good as the Tomfer, however. Who's wearing the Tomfer? I'll check. Bear with me. I'm just going to take your stuff. Well, that Forbidden Blade is really good on Frone because the speed boost for Aber's Reckoning, right? Hmm. Why did I just take off someone? It's amazing how quickly I managed to uh, figure out what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, the Battle Tested Spear is really good. Very true. It's a lot of really good stuff here, then, everywhere. It's the Tom Fry took off, wasn't it? Slim chance to counterattack is cool by me. So, yeah, we just need to make sure that Oswald can take the damage put out by our enemy here, survive it, and win through, really. So, all this for a challenge that we intend to do. <laughs> to try and get this staff that won't even work with anything but Blessing in Disguise characters. I'd like to point out. Can we survive it? Well, let's give it a go, shall we? Hand it over. I could never give this up. I Forbidden like staff. So we hit for 1,500, wasn't it? Thinking time. Oh, we don't even have latent power. That's not good. Calculations complete. Okay, blackout uh, made me blind. That's not good. Was it a physical hit he does? So he still hits me for that much damage. Not well. Yeah, yeah, I get that. <laughs> well, at least my latent power is already filled up again. This one's for me. Now then. Reduce them to ash. This wasn't in my calculations. Now what have you done? I need a plan. You've taken away my... 
elemental buff. Reduce them to ash. <laughs> I've been living on the edge quite a bit here, aren't I? Reduce them to ash. All according to plan. Oh, we got the break. Thinking time. He's nowhere near dying. And I've already run out of my uh, extra attack damage, so... Yeah, that's not good for me, actually. Calculations complete. Feel my wrath! Impart your wisdom, Alapak! No. Okay, I think he hit me for... So much more than that before. This one's for me. So I can break this guy in two turns. <clears throat> okay, what did I actually use on myself? A normal healing grave? Oh man. This one's for me. If he keeps attacking, I won't be able to attack with <clears throat> my stuff. <clears throat> Stop it! This one's for me. I mean, at least if I don't use the spell, I still got it, right? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Not well. Let me have a turn! <laughs> this one's for me. <laughs> I want to go! <laughs> Burst forth, mighty flames. <laughs> That's a good turn. I like that one. <laughs> Not well. Burst forth, mighty flames. They're broken. <clears throat> Calculation, let me show you what I've learned. Burst forth, mighty flames. You're finished. Yeah. I've seen worse. Well, that's, uh, at least straight up. I did find a way to kill him as soon as we actually fought him that time. But it was longer and item expensive. I didn't figure that out. So I thought we'd wait to claim a forbidden staff. A worthwhile endeavor. Nice. Job done. You're looking for an intraveler. There's one right over there. What are you saying? I'm hurt badly and I need it now. So that got me. The Forbidden Staff. However, without using Blessing in Disguise, it actually nerfs quite a lot. Elemental Defense being the main one. But it is quite overall powerful. So we will want to, like, put that into someone in the future. I just wish we had a second Blessing in Disguise. Or maybe that's just now good for Hikari. Hikari, Kundra, Blessing in Disguise, get that. Yeah, sure. That works out, doesn't it? Okay. Now that we've done the side, some side stuff, some challenges, got some quests done, yada yada. Let's head out on the road again. To our next... Area. Our next chapter. I was going to say section. It's not really a section. Let's play. Oh dear. But with the night team here, we should be able to easily bust through everything we've got. You're too kind. I take what I want. Maybe I should put step ahead on Agnia now that I look at it. We did also want to get the experience augmenter on someone, and I forgot about that entirely. I was too busy like rah, moving stuff on. We have extra experience over here. We have life in the shadows, which gives experience extra at nighttime. And you've got the JP increase. So that this party works out that way. We just uh, would like the experience augmenter on as well. But I can wait, I guess. All right, off we go. Oh, we could pay some money to get the license here. Out of my way. Why not get another merchant license? <laughs> We already buy one. I'm not even sure. Fire, burn. Finish. Study harder. That guy must have had a lot of elemental defense that we were fighting. 
Oh no, Bastion debuffs help quite swing, don't they? 